Welcome back to The Vocalist. If you're new here, my name is Bethany and I am a voice teacher. Today's video is a very exciting one for me. Not only am I hearing a singer for the first time, but I am also being introduced to a genre of music for the first time. We are hearing the singer Maritza, and she specializes in a Portuguese genre of music called Fado. Now, from what I've read, the text and the lyrics are just as important as the music. Unfortunately, this video does not have captions, so I have my English translation pulled up so I can follow along. Here we go. Okay, um, fair warning, I like to pause, I like to talk about technique, I like to rewind. <sighs> We're going back to the beginning. The music is very powerful. Um, I love how precise and intentional the guitar is at the beginning. Like, even just how gently he, like, quieted the strings. It was just so... It really set the mood. Um... We'll get into her voice though, but I just want to hear that again. As I'm watching her sing, she doesn't like clinch her jaw, but she doesn't open as traditionally wide as a lot of singers would. What I'm loving is you can hear it like her chest resonance. It's still very powerful, still very present, but she has a lot of head resonance involved and it's creating just the most gorgeous sound. Let me play that back. Yeah. 
sempre que se ouve um That sound, it's so effortless, but because she has so much head resonance, like it's, it's so audible, you know, like it's soft and very quiet, but it carries so well. Oh, a little further back. sure if that was my internet or the the video but one thing that I'm noticing because because she uses so much head resonance and where it is in her range I would definitely call this like a head dominant mix and it sounds a little bit um I wouldn't say like western classical but it has the sound of like that approach but with straight tone I know that's not what it is but it sounds like she is intentionally using tension to prevent her vibrato from releasing. I'm sorry, I need to hear that again. <laughs> that was so beautiful. And also at the end there, if you've seen any of my videos, you know those cheekbones. But you'll see she's got just the tiniest. This is obviously a very like melancholic song, but she's not smiling like she's happy. She's just the tiniest, tiniest smile to help widen her palette in the back. So I am under the impression that is an integral part of the technique that's used for this, this genre, this style. Sorry, I won't pause this time. It's almost like she's doing something with the root of her tongue to create that sound.
That was breathtaking. Vocally, of course, it, she's just stunning. Reading the lyrics beforehand was helpful for context, but I feel like I almost didn't need it because of the way she was singing and her performance and um, her commitment to the words. It was, it was all just, it was beautiful. I think that's it for today. Um, I know, this has been a theme lately where I'm not doing much of a recap, but nothing I could say could add to this and our time would be better spent just rewatching it. So thank you so much for recommending this performance, for this video, for watching with me, and hopefully I will see you next time.